It's been a month and a half since Bulma had arrived at the academy with everyone. By instructions of Director Osbin, she was immediately assigned as head of her own weapons development team and other things. Osbin assigned her a workshop, but she refused since she brought her own in a capsule, so she asked Osbin for a large place to be able to place it. On the other hand, Goku continued to attend classes, but it was almost useless since as soon as they started, he fell asleep. The teachers didn't understand the reason why he came if he just fell asleep, and even worse, his snoring was quite loud and annoying. He did not neglect his training, and every morning very early he left to train. At first, the grim of the place attacked him without respite, but after three days, no one appeared to attack him. That was because of the beatings that Goku gave them day after day, and he instilled them with so much fear that the place was considered by them as the territory of Goku. From time to time Blake, Yang, and Nora joined his training, but by the time it ended, they were so exhausted that they didn't even want to touch breakfast. They look exhausted, Ruby said, while eating her breakfast. They have a lost look, Weiss found the look of those three strange. Bulma, who had her suspicions, asked Goku, who was eating as if the world was going to end today. Goku, what did you do to those three that look like corpses? Huh? I didn't do anything, just my daily routine, he answered as if nothing. Daily routine? asked Pirha, who didn't understand what she was talking about. Bulma, who knew how extreme Goku's training was for normal humans, just sighed, and told Pirha, you better not want to know what his supposed daily routine is about, Pirha. Pirha, who understood from the tone of Bulma that it would surely be something absurd, that only Goku could do, nodded and left the subject. Weiss, who had been quiet until now, said something that raised the interest of the girls. By the way, do any of you know how to cook? Those words left the group of girls in silence, something that Weiss found funny, and continued with her teasing. Hey Goku, don't you think a good woman should know how to cook tasty things? Weiss's question with a mischievous face, and smile made even the three who looked like corpses pay attention. Well, I really don't understand very well about those things, but if I knew how to cook delicious things, for sure she and I would be very good friends, replied Goku, who finally gave her a thumbs up with a strange flash in his eyes and a big smile, something that Weiss found funny, and did the same as him. Apparently, without realizing it, Goku had created the first cooking contest of the academy. In the following days an avalanche of students ended up missing classes due to stomach pains caused by the meals they prepared, and now they were in Ozpin's office to explain the reason for their disastrous meals. Girls, do you plan to create a new terrorist group that specializes in poisoned foods? Ozpin asked everyone. They all lowered their heads in shame, except Weiss, who could barely hold back her laughter, which made Ozpin understand who was the one who incited them to poison half the academy with their food. Miss Schnee. Yes, director? You are diabolical. I think many would say that I'm like an angel fallen from heaven, because of my appearance. Weiss had a smile of pride on her face, and Ozpin could only look at her with a tired face, knowing how manipulative this girl could become. After putting up with a sermon from the director, the girls were now in a coffee shop in the city to relax a little. That was really terrible on your part, Weiss, Ruby complained, inflating her cheeks. I feel sorry for the one who becomes your enemy in the future, Bulma said with a sarcastic smile on her face. That happens to them for being too naive and clingy, said Weiss. When have we been something like that? Nora complained. Weiss looked at them all with narrowed eyes and only said one name, Goku, that made everyone look away while sweating the fat drop, which made Weiss sigh. Leaving Bulma aside, why does it seem that you are infatuated all day? Said Weiss with an accusing tone. Does that include me? Said Pirha, raising her hand shyly. Of course, yes. Weiss replied instantly, that made Pirha let out a moan, and bow her head, embarrassed by how sharp, and sincere Weiss was. Nora, who didn't really agree with what Weiss was saying, asked her directly, now you won't get Sun Deer, and say you don't like him, right? Said Nora, trying to embarrass Weiss, but it didn't work. I don't deny anything, I like him. Weiss said with a calm face, that left everyone with surprised faces, since they didn't expect her to be sincere, they expected a typical Sun Deer reaction but none of that happened. Oh hey, Weiss, are you already planning to take my boyfriend? Bulma complained. I don't plan to take anything away from you, since the way you go. Things between him, and you will end soon, Weiss said while taking some of her cappuccino in an elegant way. Hey, don't kill my relationship so soon, Bulma shouted, very annoyed. Let's see, have you done anything since you came into this world? Weiss asked. Bulma nervously fiddled with her fingers, and with her head down she said, well, since that kiss, 
we haven't done anything since everyone is very busy, we only talk casually and things like that. Bulma confessed, embarrassed. Don't worry about him, since when you finish, I will quickly turn him into my husband since I don't want to waste time like you. Weiss confessed her future plans. They all swallowed saliva when they heard what Weiss had planned, but none of them had the intention of letting that happen. That won't happen. Because he'll be mine first, Blake said. What do you think about that, street cat? Since he and I will go to train far away, Yang said. Muajajajaja, that will be if I don't catch him first with my charm, said Nora, very excited. You don't believe that, do you? He and I have a bond, so he will surely be mine, said Ruby, facing Nora. Perha didn't say anything, but by her face, everything indicated that she was fantasizing about him, and doing who knows what since she had a very dreamy look. But while they were all arguing, three guys who were looking for girls to flirt with approached them since it was not very common to see so many beautiful girls together, and without a man with them. Hey girls, you are all very cute, said random boy one. How about you and we go for a drink, said random boy two. Come on it will be fun, don't you think? said random boy three, they all looked with disinterested eyes at the three random boys and sighed disappointedly, it wasn't because they were unattractive, but because they weren't their type, are they flirting with us? Bulma asked, if that's what you want it might be that, replied random boy one, we'd better get out of here, the flies are accumulating, Why said coldly, don't say that, white haired girl, or you'll ruin your face with that angry look, random boy two told her, Random boy three grabbed a chair and sat at the table between Ruby and Pirha, something that bothered Yang and Nora, who were at the limit of their patience. Hey redhead girl, you're very cute. How about we go for a drink together, you and I? Said random boy three to Pirha, who had a face of annoyance and disgust. Hey, don't you see that you're bothering her? Ruby said to random boy three. The guy looked at Ruby shamelessly from top to bottom as if he were analyzing her. Relax girl. Those who dress like goths don't go. And I'm not a lolican either, said random boy three. That hurt Ruby's pride, and tears started accumulating in her eyes. But at that moment, Goku appeared behind random boy three. What are you all doing in this place, girls? asked Goku. When Ruby saw him, she looked at him with eyes on the verge of crying, which Goku noticed. Yu Yu Gh. Goku, said Ruby in a pitiful voice. Goku, seeing her in that state, became serious and asked her, What's wrong, Ruby? Is someone bothering you? Goku asked worried. Ruby pointed to random boy 3, who didn't understand what was going on. Hey, I don't, he tried to say something, but a moment later, his head crashed against the table, splitting it in two and leaving him on the floor foaming at the mouth. Was it this guy? Goku asked, pointing to the guy who was foaming at the mouth. She nodded happily with a smile, but the others thought, what is she asking for after having done it? Goku noticed the other two who were bothering Weiss, Bulma, and Yang, which made him put on another annoyed look at those guys. The girls were excited to see him so upset, because they were being bothered, and that brought smiles back to their faces. Hey you, do you know that you are bothering my girlfriend, and my friends? Goku asked them with a serious tone, as he approached them, cracking his knuckles. The random guys began to sweat nervously since they were afraid that the same thing would happen to them as to their friend. I'm sorry, we didn't know they were busy. Random boy one tried to excuse himself. The random guy too threw himself to the ground and, doing a beautiful dejiza, begged Goku not to do anything to them and forgive them. Do you pray to God? Since it would be good for you right now, Goku told them. No, we don't believe in those things, said random guy one. What? Do you dare to say that you don't believe in God? Not even in the Korean Jesus? Said Goku, surprised. Korean Jesus? Asked random guy too, confused. Don't you know the Korean Jesus? The most cholo and kenchero god. What do they teach you at home? Goku said as if he was really surprised. Boo but, now you won't tell me that you don't know the guy with the cowboy hat either, and that he's a ranger in Texas, since he's above the gods, Goku told them. They were both afraid to answer, but still did it. Tadempako, said the two, that made Goku open his eyes wide, and a second later, he kicked them both, making them fly away while screaming. Well, you should meet them. The girls approached him, and Weiss asked him, Hey. What was all that about the Korean Jesus and the guy with the cowboy hat? Do you really pray to that? Everyone looked at him intrigued, since they didn't think Goku was someone religious, or something similar. I have no idea what they are, I just remembered something they told me once a long time ago, and well, I said it without thinking, he replied, shrugging his shoulders, that made everyone fall anime style as they watched Goku laugh. Everyone thought when they saw him laugh, 
That's why I like him. And now, all together, they return to the academy.